I'm Stu Edelstein, author of An Alphabetical Romp Through Berkshire Botanical Garden from Agave to Zinnia. Come on, let's go for a romp. Come on. Today, iris. The nearly 300 species of irises are found throughout Europe, Asia, and North America in a variety of colors. Their name is appropriately from the Greek word for rainbow, Iris, which is also the name of the Greek goddess of rainbows. In Greek myth, winged Iris carried messages from the mortal world to the gods who helped bring souls to the afterlife, the rainbow representing the descent of this celestial messenger. Thus, in ancient Greece, irises were associated with death. Now they symbolize nobility, chivalry, wisdom, faith, purity, and messages. In Victorian England, giving someone an iris meant that you had a special message for them. Berkshire Botanical Gardens collection includes Iris Siberica, the Siberian iris, an intense purple variety is named Caesar's brother for reasons that are hard to discern. Siberian iris was first collected in Siberia by monks in the Middle Ages and grown in monasteries, and then distributed around Europe. It is native to temperate areas in Europe and Central Asia. Several hundred Siberian iris cultivars are registered with the American Iris Society, their colors varying from white to shades of deep purple. They begin to flower in late May, peak bloom occurring the first half of June. We have a dwarf bearded iris, a lovely little native that grows at the Foster Rock Garden, blooming in early May. It is one of the tiniest of the bearded irises, only about eight inches above the ground. Its flowers are in a range of colors, blue, purple, yellow, and white, in any shade from pale to intensely saturated. It has no true stem because the floral tube arises directly from the rhizome. We also have the crested iris, Iris cristata, an early spring perennial that grows well in rock gardens and woodland sites. The iris has an effective strategy to attract pollinating insects. Its outer petals form an insect runway on which they can land easily. The shape of the flower and position of pollen receiving and stigmatic surfaces on its outer petals, combined with other structures of this perennial plant, cause an insect to come into contact with its pollen-covered surface in such a way that when the pollen-bearing visitor backs out, the pollen is not rubbed off. That insect then flies off to another iris, depositing pollen there. Quite clever! In the 15th century, iris became associated with the colored portion of the eye. The word iridescent, meaning to have a rainbow-like play of color or lustrous effect, which arose in the 18th century, is based on the same Greek root. The element iridium, discovered in the 19th century, is so named because it gives off a striking variety of colors when dissolved in acid. Iris also happens to be the first name of the phenomenal copy editor for these essays, Iris Bass. She saved the author from many gaffes, typographical errors, grammatical mistakes, and, as a marvelous bonus, enhanced the text with her encyclopedic knowledge. Other female names based on flowers include Jade, Lily, Rose, Rosa, Rosemary, and Violet. Iris. Thanks for listening and have a flora-filled day. <laughs>